The question is that the amendments be agreed to. I call the member for Dobell. Okay, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise to support the private member's motion before the House that commends the government for fulfilling our commitment to construct the North Connects M1 to M2 link. The member for Barara is right in recognising that the North Connects is a vital piece of infrastructure and is the missing link in Sydney's transport system. North Connects will not only benefit the people of the Central Coast and North West Sydney, but will have a flow-on effect to all areas of Sydney. This is why I've been fighting for the M1, M2 link from the day that I became a candidate and have continued to the fight as the member for Dobell. And I was very proud last week to advise the people of Dobell that the Abbott Coalition government will build the North Connects. Now, we have listened to the residents and businesses of the Central Coast, and that's why the talk fest is over. And this government is delivering this vital piece of infrastructure. North Connects will be a nine-kilometre tunnel motorway linking the M1 and M2 motorways. North Connects will ease traffic congestion, particularly along Pennant Hills Road, enabling commuters and freight vehicles to bypass up to 22 traffic lights and reduce travel time by up to 15 minutes. This is a huge win for commuters who will see reduced congestion, shorten travel times and improve safety on our roads. The economic importance of North Connects is highlighted by the 5,000 heavy vehicles that will be removed from Pennant Hills Road on a daily basis. This will increase the efficiency of freight movements and improve safety, air quality and reduce noise for residents and businesses. Of particular importance for commuters will be the ability to travel from Newcastle to Canberra and Melbourne without encountering a single traffic light. North Connects is a jointly funded project by both the federal and New South Wales governments who will each contribute $405 million towards the $3 billion project. Credit must go to the O'Farrell Coalition government in New South Wales who are also getting on with the job and delivering the projects that the previous state government, Labor government, failed to do so. Projects such as North Connects are the result of a strong working relationship between the Commonwealth and New South Wales governments. North Connects is a significant project for the Central Coast and the people of Dobell. But this is more than reducing travel times. This is about investment and this is about jobs. The major challenge on the Central Coast is the creation of local job opportunities to match labour force growth. Substantial infrastructure projects such as North Connects are vital in developing a stronger and more prosperous economy to enable us to be more competitive, productive and raise our standard of living. The Central Coast is expected to grow by an additional 100,000 people by 2031, requiring more than 45,000 new jobs. The reality is, however, that not everyone will have access to a job close to home or access to their dream job. Therefore, many residents will still commute outside the region. For the people of Dobell who commute every working day, North Connects will mean shorter and safer travelling options, less time in traffic and more time with their families. This vital piece of infrastructure is long overdue. This project has been talked about for decades. Labor in New South Wales had 16 years to deliver this project, and the Rudd-Gillard-Rudd federal government had six. And contrary to the false claims being peddled by members opposite, the reality is that it was, ever, it was only ever going to be a coalition government who would deliver North Connects. Now, we can argue back and forth as to who committed what, but the reality is that after only six months of government, the Abbott Coalition government is delivering on its promise to the people of the Central Coast to build the roads of the 21st century. In November 2007, the Howard government committed to $1.5 billion over seven years to 2014 to fund construction of the North Connects. Now, this was in stark contrast to the $150 million committed by the Rudd government following taking office in 2007. Despite all the talk from Labor and members opposite, in May 2011, the Gillard Labor government announced a deferral of $150 million previously committed under the National Building Program until 2015-16. Labor had no intention of delivering the North Connects project, and the people of the Central Coast knew this. And it's taken the election of the Abbott Coalition government to get this project moving again. Within six months of coming to office, the Abbott Coalition government will see construction of the North Connects commence within 12 months and the project completed by 2019. This government is committed to better infrastructure, such as the North Connects, that will boost the productive capacity of the New South Wales economy, delivering economic growth and jobs to the people of Dobell.